Well, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Yeah. I got a hundred pounds in your wife. I don't want no trouble, see? What do you think? <laughs> Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building, 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I'd kill my own wife? We should get the whole place of going over and talk to the neighbors. Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. This will take some explaining. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movement. No good. 
Nobody here. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? Any messages? Thanks for your help. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. No, I really hate this fuck. This black dahlia guy. You seen the body? The fucking case is not way too Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gut the fucking sidewalk. The king of the queen, they just kept on coming around. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? To making way with charges. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with anchor. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn. Do 
Mm, lousy bastard. I've been in this job 20 years. I never thought I'd go down. Boys! Come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem. Hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Well, you don't see that every day. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. What now? If the brass are handling Dahlia evidence, they'll have it locked up in the tech services dungeon. Let's go. I have nothing more to say, detective. What do you think? If the brass are handling Dahlia evidence, they'll have it locked up in the tech service. Let's go. Where the hell are you going? We're kind of in the middle of something here. So what next? If the brass are handling Dahlia Evans, they'll have it locked up in the tech services dungeon. Let's go. I used to be in the site. Now I'm not so sure. I bumped into swipe and put them down on my staff. I don't need this. That's a set. virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? 
Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. See him? I saw his picture in the paper. He uh, worked that case with the lady that got cut up, like the Dahlia. You lousy bastard. Hey, you think those vice boys improved your attitude, die? Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. What time did she leave? Maybe one o'clock. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. You didn't want anyone else to have her. You didn't like the idea of other men fucking your wife and slipping it to her. The idea that she might like it. Easy there, angel boy. Ease it back or not. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. You're lying through your teeth. You killed her and your brother's in on it. You don't know what you're saying. Why would I do that? Hippolito's my brother. But he would never lie for me about killing Antonia. He knows he'd go to hell for that. Keep it to yourself, kid. Let it eat away at you like poison. Going back into a cell. We'll be waiting when you're ready to spill your guts. Are you taking my wife's murder seriously? That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down in my sap. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Any ideas? So, the fruit market was the last stop off Antonio made. Let's go. He ran the light on Olympic, he finally collared him on the temple. Mouthpiece first stripped off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA won't make it.
Hey, there's a madman on the loose! Advice? The green grocer would remember the girl if she came in here bombed. Ask him. I got a call back for that universal chorus line. Sir, I'm the. Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. But I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went ape shit one day when he caught me talking to her. She had me back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. How to dance to bebop. Okay? No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out.
cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clip! God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Belt. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. It's strange that he keep a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in clothes. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road. Spit him out! Sorry! My partner isn't the great- You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Now, lads, what am I to do with you? I give you a perfectly good murder. A case any homicide man would be happy with. An affront to our way of life and our Californian dream, and a chance to deliver some retribution. Are you not believers, lads? Homicide men are the right hand of God. You need to back out of here slowly and take a long, hard look at yourselves and your methods. Ask yourself what you are prepared to do to put these creatures behind bars. 
It's the streets for the two of you until I can find some forgiveness for the foppish behavior you've been exhibiting. Why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon 